In this video, I want to show you a different way of configuring your dynamic product block for your browse abandonment flow. This also will work for the added to cart flow, so it will be pretty much the same process. So we'll just use the example of the browse abandonment, which is triggered by the viewed product metric. So here you can see that the product that the customer viewed is in the middle of the email. I think it's a pretty cool way to add some color to the email and kind of have that focus on the product that the customer viewed. What you can even do, you can have this product instead of your header image as well and will be very, very relevant to the customer instead of having some random image in the header. I will show you how to create this email pretty much with this dynamic product block. Another thing that you see here is the name of the product in the body text. So I will also show you how to do that. So to get started, we will go to the flows tab in Clavia. I will just assume that you don't have any flow set up. You can uh, skip this part, of course, if you already do have browse abandonment flow set up. But I will just start with a blank browse abandonment standard flow from the Clavio library since it already has the dynamic product block that I can use for editing. This is Clavio's standard flow library email. What I am going to do is simply drag an image block to where you want it to be, whether it's in a header image or anywhere. And all I will have to do is to change the configuration of this image to a dynamic image. So pretty much we need to find what to put into this dynamic variable field. So what I will do, I will go to this pre-made block and I will copy this variable that I already know is working and I will paste it in my dynamic image value here. You will need to remove the brackets and save it. If you go to preview, you will see that the image is being populated here. So if you want to use this header image, you can see that this is definitely an option. But just for the purpose of this email, I will make it smaller and I will have it under the header text. Another way you can do it if you don't want to start with the you know dynamic product block from Clavio Flow Library, you can also grab that URL for the dynamic image from your event properties. So it simply would be your image URL. So if you click on it, it is going to copy this and you will just paste it into that uh, dynamic variable place for the image. You will also need the URL for this image so that people can click on it. So you can either take it from here. I'll just take it from here uh, or you can take it from that image. So what I'm going to do is paste it in here. Enter the alt text. Next thing I want to do is I just want to add the product name in there. So again, you can either take the product's name from here. You can just click on name and it's going to copy this. Or you can copy it from here. This is going to be absolutely the same thing. And then I am going to paste it in here. If you want to link this, this is also possible. In order to link it, you will simply grab that URL as well, and you will link it. So now this is going to be linked. You can remove this if you want, or you can keep the customer name. If you want to add some padding. We will definitely need a button. So I'll just take my universal content button, add it in here. The link for the button, you can also take either from here. This will simply take to the um, homepage or you can take them back to that product URL that they were viewing. I'll unlink this. And insert this in here. Now this button and this image, and if they click on the name, all of those will take the customer to the product that they viewed. So now I'm going to get rid of this and this. All right, let's see how we can change the styling of this. So you can either, you know, make this as your header image if you want to, 
or you can make it smaller. So in this example, I have it a bit smaller. So this size is 250 or maybe 300. So anywhere, anywhere between 250, 300 would be like that smallish kind of middle size image. So let's see how it looks like. That's a pretty good size for this email. I will also put this in the center. Maybe have a bit less space in below. So all you have to do now is just style your email. Or if you want, as always, you can save this as universal content and paste it into your email. In order to do that, you will click on the star, you will save it, and then you will paste it in your other email template that you have. This is it. You can always have a nice, fun A-B test and compare the regular dynamic product block with this one and see which click rate performs better. So have fun with it.